Now, Kenya has positioned itself as a regional champion for climate change, putting in place measures to pursue a low carbon and climate resilient development pathway. These include planting more trees and sustainable waste management systems. These measures have now encouraged more entrepreneurs to venture into climate related initiatives. One such initiative is Octavia Carbon a local venture specializing in direct air capture, or DSC, technology to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Edward Chair tells us how this works. This might look like normal welding, but it's not. These are engineers building a machine that will help remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This is Octavia Carbon, a local climate action venture founded by three young men who met as students in university. Octavia is a direct air capture company. We design, uh, we manufacture, and we'll soon deploy uh, direct air capture technology to remove CO2 from the air and reverse climate change. We founded uh, the company in 2022. Mike, our head of R&D, and myself, who are students at the University of Nairobi at the time, were already researching on the science and the engineering behind direct air capture. This is capturing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere atmosphere and concentrate it in, concentrating it in such a way that you can actually use it for other purposes. Um, for instance, um, storing it underground um, or in formations to have a net removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, how does this technology work? This is um, sorbent material. It's the filter material that captures the CO2 from the atmosphere. The filter material is basic in nature and acidic CO2 is present in the atmosphere. So the reaction between the CO2 and the components inside the filter material form a salt and then you can easily reverse this um, salt that has been formed so that you get your very much concentrated CO2. So how it works in the machine is you have fans attached to both ends of the machine so that you blow right um, huge volumes of air right through the filter material. The filter material is packed right in the middle of this machine. The filter material gets very much saturated with CO2 and then you're able to um, release the other gases from the other end of the machine. So once the filter material is saturated, you can queue in a release stage where you release the CO2, concentrate it in cylinders and utilize it in different forms or even um, sequester it underground permanently. Why not just plant trees, which not only help to remove carbon from the atmosphere, but also serve other important purposes? The differences come in um, for three main reasons. We can know to the gram how much CO2 we are removing from the atmosphere. This is technology. It's inherently scalable uh, and it doesn't occupy a large, a large land footprint. But it's not to say that when we do one, we should stop doing the other. We need all solutions to uh, reverse climate change. Karaoke says when they fully roll out the direct air capture technology, they intend to commercialize it through the sale of carbon credits and the machines themselves. You can store it in concrete, for example, um, permanently. It turns into stone as well. So in that way, once you lock it away, you can sell carbon credits from that and have a third party verify that. The other method um, that we can commercialize this technology is through the sale of these machines. Currently, we're working on machines that can do around 10 tons um, of CO2 in a year. And to give better context, that's around, what, a thousand trees can do in a year. A CO2 molecule we emit here today, um, that is going to travel across the world in about a week. So we can deploy anywhere and what we really focus on is deploying where the economics make sense, so where you have renewable energy and where you have access to storage. Octavia has now employed 60 young engineers and techies who are helping with research and development of the direct air capture technology. What I do is design um, and test a heat exchange system for our machine. It is inspiring and motivating to be using my engineering skills to solve for a global crisis. Um, kind of is motivating and gives you the energy to keep on moving. We actually just hire straight from most of our local universities. And the thing that I actually have to point out here 
is Kenya we inherently have quite a good talent base. Octavia Carbon looks forward to scaling and putting the direct air capture machines in the market to be able to capture as much CO2 from the atmosphere as possible. I think it's upon all of us to use the skills that we have in whatever technology you're in or whatever background you're in to make an impact as much as possible. We'll be removing megatons and gigatons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year. Um, and at the same time, we'll be the ones who do it um, as cheaply as possible. Edward Treya, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.